We can see a few snow showers tonight. Lake effect settling in and falling temperatures during the day tomorrow. So right now that cold front getting ready to move through, producing some snow just outside of Kitchener-Waterloo here at this point, back in through London, basically Perth County seeing it right now, back up in through Gray County. So that's that first round of snow showers. And we'll keep an eye on the potential for snow squalls to form. Areas from Gray Bruce all the way into cottage country during the day tomorrow. And then through Kitchener-Waterloo into oxford Brant counties and down into London, Middlesex. As that colder air is going to eventually be moving through. So where is that colder air right now? It's from Sudbury up in through Thunder Bay. And it's going to be cold Arctic air that we are going to get into. So a reverse temperature trend during the day tomorrow. Dress for what you'll see into the afternoon, not what these temperatures are going to be for daytime highs because it'll be about minus two in the morning. We could see a few flurries as the lake effect bands of snow are starting to get settled in. We'll see winds out of the northwest up to 65 kilometers per hour, minus four, and then dropping to about minus six, feeling like minus 17 throughout the afternoon hours. So the setup here over the next couple of days is going to be colder and then warmer. And then there's a special weather statement out for a system on the way for the weekend, something we're going to continue to monitor over the next few days, obviously. And it's going to be mainly a high impact system as we don't exactly know who's going to see what because that storm system still in the Gulf of Alaska. But it has a heavy rain potential, has a freezing rain potential. It has the potential for some heavy snow for some areas as well. So something that as we get closer to it, we'll start to dial in. But it is going to be one of those things where there's a lot of available moisture. It depends on where that cold air lines up and where that battle between the warmer air and colder air plays out. Could be, again, high impact for the region. Latest trend today, a little further to the north, which is better for Toronto, not great for areas to the north. So when we talk about the seven-day forecast and you see sevens and eights and then you see one, and you're like, oh, it's not too bad. But if that temperature gets down to about zero or minus one, we then run the risk of some freezing rain as we transition over Saturday into Sunday. So complex, difficult, and very tricky over the weekend and something we continue to monitor. Our next shot for snow after that would be on Tuesday of next week. That's a check on your forecast.